Hello and welcome back. Today we are looking at Wrestling With Emotions New Kid On The Block demo. I'm making my way through some of the uh, Steam Next Fest demos at the moment. And I happened upon this wrestling dating sim, which who doesn't who doesn't want to play a wrestling dating sim? And if you say you, I think you're crazy. I think you are crazy. You know, maybe I can live vicariously through my own Becky Lynch. Maybe I can date my own Cody Rhodes. Questions that we will presumably find the answers to. Also seems to have a jamming soundtrack. Very excited. Let's go. Team Laser Beam. Hi. We're Team Laser Beam, and this is the demo for our upcoming pro wrestler cuddling sim. Cuddling sim. Wrestling with emotions. What you're about to play is a remix of selected bits of the full game. We hope it will give you a nice taste of what you can expect from wrestling with emotions and that you'll have a ton of fun playing it. Our game is set in an alternate history 1994, so with that in mind, to kick things off, please put your paws together for the one, the only, demo dog. <laughs> a muscular dog in a sea foam singlet bounds up to you. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> They start bouncing up and down, dancing robotically as they break into a rap. Oh, please don't make me rap. I can't rap. Don't make me do this. Demo Dog. Demo Dog. That's my name. Demo Wrestling is my game. I may be small, I may be yappy, but I'm here to keep this demo snappy. Ooh. When this pop pops up, that's when you'll know we cut a little something out of the show. Oh, okay, I see, okay. Yeah, paying attention. Please don't fret and please don't fuss. My demo hits harder than a runaway bus. <laughs> the canine freezes in a dramatic pose. Any questions? <laughs> Can I pet you? Sure thing. Oh, okay, you run your hand across the demo's oversized cranium. I mean, it's nice to ask for consent. Her fur feels soft and velvet. Ooh, yeah! That's the stuff. Demo's tail waggles appreciatively. Okay, time to get this party started. Let's go! Hey, okay, that's what I say. Every great story starts somewhere. Some start with violence, bloodlust, battered faces, or broken bones. Some stories start with chance encounters. Butterflies in bellies, or bolts of electricity arcing between perfect strangers. But your story doesn't start with a brutal brawl or love at first sight. Your story starts quite plainly with a few words on a screen. And it starts like... Sad, for lonely, cry wrestling with emotions. Is that a potato? <laughs> Are you a meaty muscle, babe? Do you feel like you're bound for greatness? Are you ready to find your perfect match? Well then, maybe you could become the next superstar of wrestling with emotions! I'm, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Let's go. For 50 years, wrestling with emotions has been the home of the hottest sports entertainment. From legends like Sexy Legs McGee and Major Malfunction to modern big cats like Matsuri and Irresistible Steve, the league has been home to the most heart-stopping beefcakes the sport has ever known. I was gonna wear my Stone Cold Steve Austin top today. Couldn't find it anywhere, so. Submissions are now open for the 1994 group of little kittens. Grab the latest issue of Strong Cuddles magazine today to get your ticket to stardom. Complete the submission form, send it to us, and we might be calling you to join wrestling with emotion. Get it. We're gonna rush. We're gonna rush out and get it. We're gonna get the magazine. You grab the magazine and lay it out on your desk. I think it's all hand drawn as well and everything. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. Who's next? The changing face of pro wrestling. Inside your ticket to wrestling with emotions. I'm perfect. You can't contain your excitement for what lies within these pages. Wrestling with emotions. 
would be such a dream if this worked out. Okay, okay, let me fill this thing in. My name. The form starts out simply enough. First, you write down your name. Is this my wrestling name? Or is it my name? Okay, then you set to work completing the rest of the questions. Your age? Wait. I wanna, I wanna write my name. I'm older than. I changed my mind, I've changed, changed my mind. I'm older than Graham Feet. I wanna, wait. I am heavy enough to, Oh, no, am I just making a dinky old person here? My hometown. Oh. Capiadelphia. Capadelphia. That city. Dorksville or New Popstack. I want to be from New Popstack. It looks lovely. Describe yourself. I am a badass bruiser that lives for... Well, I mean, I'm English, so... People are gonna assume and expect me to say beans, right? Beans on toast, you know? Okay. I'm feeling good about things. <laughs> nice. <Next. laughs> Which one? Who would you punch in the face? Not irresistible, Steve. Who looks the most punchable? I think the most punchable. It's gotta be King Creek. Oh, no. Wait, no, then they get miserable. Is it who I'm gonna feud with? Radical Ray. Um, um, I'm gonna say King Pretty Guy. Ooh, what does that mean? What did I do? Okay, what's next? Select your favorite character. Irresistible Steve. Yeah. You pick Irresistible Steve as your dream partner. What's next? What's your favorite way to rough up your opponents? What's your favorite wrestling style? <laughs> Grabbies, uppies, throws, or strikes? Uppies. Yeah. Your favorite wrestling style is uppies. <laughs> Tell us more. I just love jumping up high places, soaring through the air, and crashing into people. Come on, Ray Ray, kind of. Uh, almost done. Give us a few more details. Dream entrance song. Drift prism. Dream finisher. Your dream entrance song would be performed by Dr I really hope that that was the right choice. What is your dream finisher? Tube tubular rear naked choke. Snow cone stunner. Final fantasy reference. But it's got come on, it's gotta be the snow cone stunner. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. Pronouns. Your dream finisher is snow cone stunner. What are your pronouns? Uh, she, her. Vibe. Your pronouns are she, her. How would you describe yourself? Or what's, what's your vibe? Totally bodacious. Open, nervous, easygoing, or steadfast? No, I'm gonna say nervous. I'm gonna see where that takes us. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, Steve. That's that. Mail your submission to Wrestle HQ 17 Booty Street, Kiltown. I am pretty nervous most of the time. I worry a bunch, but I guess that means I care a lot too. Oh, this is so stressful. Let me double check everything. You cut out your application, stick it in an envelope, and race out to mail it off. Here goes nothing. That night you climb into bed with your mind racing. The idea of possibly joining your favourite wrestling promotion leaves you giddy. Oh, do I live in a cute little trailer? Awesome. The days drag by as you wait for a reply from wrestling with emotions. And then, one day, the fateful letter lands upon your desk. <laughs> Freeze up. As excited as you are about its contents, you find yourself unable to open the letter. What if they say no? What if they say yes? I don't think I can handle the pain of a rejection. I don't know if I can take the pressure of getting in. Will I even have what it takes to make it as a wrestler? Me and Irresistible Steve. We're gonna be fine. Oh, blob. 
This is just too much. We spend a few more moments staring at the latter, paralysed by the gravity of the moment. Okay, your name. You've got... <laughs> did I mess up there, or did it not give me an option? Uh, you ripped the envelope open. <clears throat> you pull out the letter and unfold a little piece of paper that will change the course of your whole life. After the strong recommendation of one demo D. Dorg, you have been accepted to our little kitten's training program. Emic Dorg made it clear that you're pressed for time, so we'll skip all the juicy exposition that should be in this letter. Get your luck together and head down to the Cuddle Dome. Yes, we're in. We're doing it. We're becoming a pro wrestler. You've got a meeting with your new boss man and your new coach, Major Malfunction. Sincerely. Secret Secretary. Sincerely Secret Secretary. Sincerely Secret Secretary, Sincerely Secret Secretary, Sincerely Secret Secretary. How many times can you say that? Scream! You throw your head back and scream with joy. Wrestling! After a few moments, you gather yourself. I can't believe it! I better start putting my look to get some should. Maybe I should relax and watch a little. No, 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 I'll make a snack. No, I'll take a nap. No, I, I want to. I want to. You can't wait to get your luck together and bolt straight for the mirror. Okay, uh, I'm very, very pale. Let's do that one. The missus. I'm just trying to make Irresistible Steve the best partner he's ever seen in his life. Mm -hmm. Doctor. The dentist. I I'm, I'm gonna go for so. <laughs> I'm afraid, sir. Sir, come <laughs> he said that. Sir, Mecca. Sir, hairy. Sir, melting. Sir, rugged. Sir, average. I'm gonna go for sir. Sir, average. Sir, average, regular. <laughs> sir, average, funky. Sir, average, mystery. So, oh. Sir Average Mystery... Sir Average Mystery Pub. Oh, come on, it's gotta be. Let's go. Sir Average Mystery Pub, eh? Is this look going to make me a superstar? You bet your bottom dollar it is. What happens if we punch the mirror in disgust? Damn it! Get it together, Sir Average Mystery Pub! Nobody's gonna love you until you learn to love yourself! Perfect. You got the... <laughs> Time to introduce the world to Sir Average Mystery Pop. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to pick my best asset. My best assets are my... Look out lovers, here come the lovely nips of Sir Average Mystery Pop. That was a sentence I didn't think I was gonna say today. Time to take that photo and send it through to Manny. Then it's off to that meeting with him. Yeah. Let's get to that meeting. You enter the reception area for the office of... <laughs> Mc... <laughs> McManny McMahon Jr. Jr. How is this even happening? Seven years of hard work and I finally made it. Wrestling with emotion. You approach the front desk. A large luchador in a pink power suit stands to greet you. Welcome, you must be Sir Average Mystery Pop. Demo Dorg said you'd be by, so I'll keep this brief. You're about to meet the most important figure in the world of professional wrestling. Mind your manners and show Mr. McMahon the rest. <laughs> he deserves. They size you up threateningly. Step out of line and you'll have to answer to me. They slowly pound a gloved fist into the palm of their hand. Okay, you can go right in. Dazed, you step up to the door. Behind that door is the biggest player in the wrestling world. And I'm about to become one of their employees. Is this real life? Is this real life? 
I'm going to feel anxious. You stare at the door frozen by a cocktail of overwhelming emotions. The person on the other side of this door will script every step of my journey through this league. How much freedom will I really have? Will I get to become the wrestler I dream of being? A tag team champ? A legend? I've already said, I've already said, Oz and Irresistible Steve. We got this unlocked. Fine. Oh, will Manny have me lose? Match after match, endlessly squashed by his superstars. I'm potentially, yeah. You can't inflate your future and how you life and how your life is about to be reduced to choosing between a limited handful of options. We, we have to knock. We don't know what could be going on in them. Who knows what could be going on in I mean, what did I just say? Who knows what could be going on in there? I should announce myself. You rap politely on the door, as if by magic it opens on its own accord and you enter the office of your new boss. You step into a small room overlooking the WWE training gym, Sweat City. Oh, I've just understood. I've just understood that wrestling with emotions is WWE. Okay. Posters, trophies, action figures, newspaper clippings and cutouts fill the room. A shrine to 50 years of muscle-bound glory. So this is Manny's office. Kind of expected he'd be in it. Troubled by Manny's absence, you look around the room for some distraction. Investigate the giant photograph. Who we got? Irresistible Steve! Ooh, my favourite. You approach the largest beast in the office. A massive photograph housed in a totally OTT gold frame. A group shot from the golden days, back when this was still wrestling with feelings. Things sure were different back then. I've just seen, right, is, if, is that irresistible, Steve? Because look at his nips. His nips and our nips will make a glorious team of nips. Gazing at this collection of ancient wrestlers, the photo feels like a portal to another time. You find your attention drawn towards one of the figures. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, who are the privates? Well, I know who Manny Senior Senior is. I know who Manny Junior Junior is. Who are the privates? Are they, like, the ex? No. Two babes in military gear embrace each other. Massive belts slung over their shoulders. Oh my god, that's the privates. This from their reign is the league's tag team champs. Power of private malfunction paired with the technicality of private murder. They were unstoppable. Hypnotized by their electrifying chemistry. Without warning, Manny's desk explodes into a shower of sparks and splintered wood. MC. Is it MC or is it Manny? Is it MC? MC! Manny McMahon Jr. Jr. bursts out of the debris, leaping onto the shattered remains of his desk. What the fuck? <laughs> Welcome, kid. I'm MC Manny McMahon Jr. Jr. I know I didn't need to tell you that, but I did anyway. I also probably didn't need to blow up my desk just to tell you I love theatrics, but I still did that too. I do it for every new recruit. Really drives the message home. I live to put on the most explosive show possible. But tell me, Sir Average Mystery Pup, are you ready to explode? Oh, I've never been more ready to explode all over the place. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the Wrestling With Emotions family. You picked one hell of a day to make your debut. Tonight's gonna be huge. The 1994 edition of Cuddle Mania. I keep forgetting it's in the 90s. For a major event like this, you obviously won't set foot in the ring. But just being there will be exciting, right? Obviously, of course it will. The lineup's absolutely stacked. There'll be steamy mashups with all our hottest superstars. Manny gestures towards a poster showcasing his eight superstars. You stare at their perfect faces, awed by this majestic A-team of wrestlers. Manny notices your interest. Now, don't go getting any ideas. These dreamboats are totally out of your league. Until I say you're ready, you're forbidden from even looking at them. Understood. You want to protest? Does that mean I have to just walk around this? You want to protest, but instead find yourself nodding obediently. Probably for the best. Great! I love a wrestler who knows their place. I'm sure that you do, sir. 
Well, I'm sure you have a lot of settling in to do. Next stop is meeting your new coach, Major Malfunction. Your heart skips a beat. Major Malfunction? The Major doesn't stand for tardiness, so you best not leave them waiting. Manny, out. We should all enter and exit rooms like that. You step into Sweat City, the league's legendary wrestling school. Everyone from the obliterated to Sexy Legs McGee trained in this ring. The room smells like wood, canvas and 30 years of sweaty leotard. A few low-level fighters are scattered around the gym, pumping weights or chatting casually. Then you see them. Like something out of a dream, Major Malfunction crosses the ring towards you. They hang their body over the top rope, sunglasses shifting down their nose as their eyes meet yours. Is this real life? Am I going to be trained by my childhood hero? For a moment, you gaze into the eyes of the wrestling legend, struggling to believe that this is actually happening. And then quite suddenly, the screaming begins. <sighs> Who the hell do you think could- What? You've left me waiting for 84 seconds and I do not like to be left waiting! Get your buns in this ring before I rip your arms off like an unloved action figure. Thank you. Thank you. What's up? Yes, sir. You throw your drill sergeant a respectful salute before joining them in the ring. Very nice, recruit. You're off to a good start. I am. Thank you. Time to see what you've got. Let's go, let's go, I can do this. The Major leaves the ring. There, I was going, okay, that's fine. Returns to place a six foot rubber muscle man in front of you. Say hello to Kiniku, your new training partner. You gaze into Kiniku's unblinking eyes. Yawn. Kiniku creaming me out. Perfect hair and bulging biceps, he has been beautifully sculpted. But looks like he's seen a lot of abuse over the years. Okay, the two of you are gonna put on a show for me and your fellow grunts. Major gestures at the motley crew of rookie wrestlers scattered around Sweat City. They don't look very interested, but maybe you can grab their attention. I'm gonna rate your meat! So give it your all! Ah, what is that? What are, you, what are you gonna rate my meat? How are you gonna rate my meat? What's my meat? What is it? What is my meat? First dazzle the crowd with a stylish entrance. I'm jumping into the ring, I'm showing off my nips, I'm doing it, I don't care. You hop out of the ring and then launch yourself back in off the top rope. You wave at the small crowd of onlookers and then look to Kiniku, running your hands over your nips seductively. You hear some approving cheers, of course they're approving, of course. Have you seen anything like it? No. Not bad, don't be afraid to bring some pizzazz to the ring. Have you seen my nips, sir? Everyone loves a wrestler with some elegance. Nips are elegant, yes. Next, let's test your performance. Take a headbutt from Kiniku, let's go. I'm on, I'm shoving him, of course I'm shoving him. You charge towards Kiniku, shoving him violently. The weighted dummy lurches backwards and then springs up towards you. You position your face so Kiniku headbutts you as they bounce back. You recoil from the blow, grab your face and stagger about the ring dramatically. Now that's how you take a headbutt. Yes, it is, thank you. You've got some good theatrics, Sir Average Mystery Pup. I do, I do, thank you, thank you very much. Next, I'd like to see how strong you are. Take him down with a powerful body slam. Do this. Manhandle the heck out, yeah, manhandle him. Focus your, uh, focusing your power, every muscle in your body hardens. You charge into Kinnaku, drive your right shoulder into their chest and hoist them into the air before slamming them down. Ooh, yeah! The stage rattles with the force of the attack, the crowd cheers and the major raises their bushy eyebrows approvingly. Very nice, Sir Average Mystery Pup! Glad to see you've got some muscle! <laughs> One last test. Seal the deal with some sass. Pin that stand in. Sally! I don't know what, oh, pin hit, right, I see. I got confused with the stand-in Sally. Attitude, obviously, finish him off with some tood. You pause for a moment, gathering yourself before you descend onto Kinnaku. You pause for a moment, gathering yourself before you descend onto Kinnaku, slamming your boots into his springy face. 
your opponent, suitably dazed. You climb onto him, kneeling onto his shoulders. One. With Kinnaku pinned under your knees, you throw your hands into the air. Two. In the final moment, you roll your raised fist into a pair of horns. The crowd cheers. Three. For an instant, lying between your legs, it feels like Kinnaku's expression softens. A look of admiration in their eye. Hey, Kinnaku! Raising to your feet, you turn to face the Major who smiles approvingly. Great, kid! Don't get cocky! I'm, I've, I'm very cocky. I've gotten very cocky. After assessing your abilities, I have good and bad news. Major hands you the results of your test. The good news, you've got me! Mm. Muscle, elegance, attitude, theatrics. Oh, yeah, okay. Attitude. Theatrics! The bad news, you're raiding on all fronts. Maybe it's like golf, though, and the lower the score, the better. You've got a lot of work to do. They hand you another sheet of paper, a map of Cuddletown. Cuddletown offers a variety of trading spaces where you can improve your meat. You've only got time for two training sessions before tonight's big match. Now get out there and make it count. Okay, okay, okay. Major malfunction stomps off, leaving you to decide where to spend your first training session. Damn, I better level up my meat. Where should I start? So we've got the Cuddle Dome, Thrashes, and the hot. I want to go to Thrashes. Thrashes. You hear thrashes before you see it. Heck yeah, we do. Emanating a constant drone of distorted bass, the coolest club in Puddle Town calls out to you from blocks away. You approach it with a cocktail of excitement and terror burning in the pit of your stomach. Not even feeling remotely cool enough for the place, you quietly make your way into thrashes. Ah, I'm, 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 I'm cool enough for thrashes. Does that say butts on the wall? One, one man, but. What you find inside blows your mind. Oh, lame. I thought that was a C. Rad Ray was here. Formerly an industrial warehouse, this space was transformed into something equal parts skate park, live venue, clubhouse, and art studio. With every inch of its walls lovingly blanketed in spray paint scribbles and stickers, Thrashes is a graffiti drenched bastion of creativity. So cool. It is cool, I love it, I love it. Surrounded by the collection of ramps and bowls that the skaters dance between, the stage stands as the altar of this punk church. So I know I'm here to pump up my attitude, but where do I start? A pink haired punk seems to notice you looking lost and skates towards you. As cool and weird as the warehouse you're standing in, the stranger stares at you through her visor. Oh she can see that I just don't belong here. You're just about ready to run away when the thrasher opens her map. Huh? Him bonito. Oh damn, she seems nice. Are you okay? Are you new here? Can I help you getting, can I help, can I help you getting settled in? A wave of relief washes over you. You, Sir Average. You, Sir Average Mystery. <laughs> you, Sir Average Mystery Pup. Demo Dog said you dropped by. I'm Kim. Kim Benito. Do you run this place? Kim looks uncomfortable with this question. Uh. Oh, I upset her. I didn't mean to. Everyone's. Everyone here <clears throat> is free to do as they please, but a few of us have taken to looking out for the space and its guests. We're not big on authority here, but I guess you could call me the matriarch of this glorious place. Yes, I should have realized it's punk. We don't like authority figures in punk. I book the bands, help put on art shows, and get behind the bar from time to time. So yeah, you are. You are the authority figure. And in moments like this, welcome new folks like you. So, welcome. Kim throws an arm over your shoulder and leads you into the warehouse, pointing out the attractions. You can grab a board here, you can do tricks or fall off the said board there. Fall off said board there. 
bands play there. It gets kind of rough sometimes, but we keep people safe and send tough guy mosh bullies packing. Kim gestures at the colourful graffiti blanketing the warehouse walls. But Folks are also encouraged to make art whenever they like. Wherever they like. Wow, my reading is terrible today. Kim notices your eyes light up as she mentions the graffiti policy. You want to get in on some of that right now? It's a good way to pump up your attitude, and if you want to make it as a wrestler these days, you'll need some major tude, major tude. I'll pick out a few choice colours and stencils for you. The pink haired punk skates off to the art supplies, scratches around for a minute, and returns with a crate of goodies. Here you go. Once you start levelling up the attitude, I'll give you more options. Stoked to see what you're going to get up to. Have fun, little kit. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm not going to spend ages. I'm not going to spend ages. Let's do... Why? I'm clicking green, but it's definitely purple. That doesn't, it's not right. Okay, okay, they're back to front. Let's do clouds with... I uh, like that marshmallow. Uh, cityscape, forest, planets, or oh, hills. Mm. I want to do the forest. I, I think the pink forest, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Amazing. You all done? Let me take a look at what you did. Wow, this looks amazing, Sir Average Mystery Pup, doesn't it, though? It's the best I've ever done, ever. Plus one at you. Keep this up in your shirt again, more. Dude! Yeah, we are. You turn to leave, but. <gasps> Is King Pretty Guy like the leader of Pretty Deadly? He is, isn't he? he ha now he has spectacular nips. If we're gonna talk about who has spectacular nips, it is tune banging. Their royal gyness glares at you. Does that mean we're gonna. Ugh, no, this posh fool. You grimace at their royal gyness. Uh, hi? You have the honor of being in the presence of the one and only King Pretty Guy. AKA, Julish. It's a bop, it's a proper bop. When's it released on Spotify? AKA, the posh power babe. AKA, his royal gyness. Wow, so many names. I'm just plain old Sir Average Mystery Pup. You can just call me Sir Average Mystery Pup. I don't care for you, fool. Get off my land. I don't think this is your land. Did that really just, apparently it did happen, yeah. You feel dazed by this brush. Does, wait, wait, does he take his music with him? Does he just walk around with like his phone just blasted? You feel dazed by this brush with one of the league's biggest names. Okay, one training session left. Where should I go? Were we were we in the cuddle dome before? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the hot shop. Feels more like the Indies, you know. You awkwardly poke your head into the hot shop, the most banging salon in town. Heck yeah, can we do my hair? Oh, uh, I don't know if I belong in here. You honestly don't even know where to start with this place. Huh? Secret, what? Well, I didn't even read that, I flipped too fast. A delightful luchador waves to you. Sequins dress. Don't tell me you're here to get hot. No, gorge. No, sickening. Yes, all three of those things, obviously. You're here to get sickening, right? Well, you picked the perfect spot. You try to get a word in, but Sequins is a runaway train of enthusiasm. You're new, yeah? A little kid. Look, I know they tell you kids you just need to blend in while you're training, but I say you're a wrestler. You're born to stand out. No! You're born to shine, and we're going to help you do that. Miss Dress looks down at your hands. Good hands. The perfect canvas. Thank you. Let's get you set up to make some art. Sequins excitedly shows you to a nail station with all kinds of nail polish, jewelry, and accessories. Normally I'd save the really good stuff for people who've proved their elegance, but Demo Dorg said I should let the new kid go wild, so we're pulling out all of the stocks. 
about the tattoo, the I love nails tattoo. <gasps> Green, red, purple. Wait, is it scented or is that just? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get blue, you know, I think. <gasps> Barker Bay with them. Dusted. Oh. That part of me that just wants to go balls to the wall. Just everything, you know. Just sickening, sickening, right? Yeah, I said it. Right, we're gonna do spikies. Spikies, spikies. Meat. Meat for life. Yes. We're gonna do everything, all of it. New snakes. Slithery little snake. I'm gonna do the alien. This looks fantastic. I want the alien ring. See, I want that just because it's my initial. I'm just gonna leave. I think we're gonna leave it at the one risk. We don't want too much, you know. We don't want too much. Okay. Are you done customizing your hands? I sure am. I think it looks beautiful. You admire your hands and prepare to leave. It's plus one elegance. Your hands look amazing for the average mystery pup. Keep this up in your shirt to gain more elegance. On your way out, you bump into a goopy green figure. Who is this adorable weirdo? I can't tell their deal, but I'm into it. I'm gonna slime in my shoe. I can't tell their deal, but I'm into it. Plus one like. Wow, we It freak show! The two of you engage in an awkward dance, mirroring one another's attempts to move out of the way. Haha, <laughs> after you, my fellow fighter. They gesture for you to walk by. Thanks, I'm popped for meeting you. Hold up, you speak real words. Out of my face, mutant. Hold up. Uh, is that a bit mean? Thanks, I'm popped for meeting you. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. The name's Sir Average Mystery Pup. It's so cool running into you. Plus two feelings. Well, I better let you get back to your day. It was so sweet meeting you. This place is gonna be a little more awesome with you around. Bork you later, Sir Average Mystery Puppinator. Ooh, got a nickname already. Getting late. Cuddle dome time. See, yeah, I knew it, I knew it though. I should go to the other ones first. You slowly approach the huge circular building, your heart pounding with anticipation. The colossal wrestling cathedral looms larger and larger with every step as you stare up at it in awe. I can't believe that I'm here. The cuddle dome. I can't wait to, I can't wait to see, screw the other thing. I can't wait to see Steve in action. Kaleidoscope of butterflies flutter about in your belly. Seeing Stevazoid's glistening body in the ring is going to be magical. If they hit a seductive smackdown, I'm going to lose my mind. You continue towards the arena daydreaming about the captivating cat in over. But you're suddenly snapped back to reality as you find yourself face to face with another forbidden dreamboat. You walk straight into arms. Everyone has such good nips mental. He stares at you with a look that suggests a heart full of kindness and a mind devoid of thoughts. Aww. Oh, I love him. You marvel, marvel at the barbarian sweetheart. His arms are indeed absolutely massive and his nips are incredibly pointy. Every inch of his body gleams. Astonishing. Your heart racing, you feel at a loss for words. Sounds like uh, that one level. That one level on Mario 64. New wrestler, who dis? Beat your chest and chant your name. You pound a fist into your chest and start chanting, Sir Average Mystery Pup. Sir Average. It was just the one, wasn't it? Sir Average Mystery Pup. Sir Average Mystery Pup. Yes. 
so average mystery pop. So average mystery pop. I love it. I love him so much. Arm stares at you, a broad, goofy smile plastered on their chiseled face. It's this bit. This is sounds like a level from Mario 64. Arm stares at you, a broad, goofy smile plastered on their chiseled face. This was totally illegal, but it was also meeting you. Oh my goodness, me and Arms are just getting on so well. Arg, you're a cutie. Thank you. I hope we get to slay together sometime, Sir Average Mystery Pop. Farewell, strong babe. Pow. Pow, pow, pow. You try to catch your breath as you watch the superstar leave. I'm going to be in some real hot water if Manny catches wind of any of these encounters. Oh yeah, he said I wasn't allowed to talk to any of them. Oh well. You shake off your concern and head into the legendary arena. You sheepishly, sheepishly take your first steps into the Cuddle Dome locker room. Oblivious to the pungent scent of sweat and spandex, you are filled with a sense of wonder. Okay, Sir Average Mystery Pup. Be cool. You barely have a moment to gather yourself before a familiar face slides into you. Ah! New kid! Ready to work your first show? Little kittens like you are responsible for maintaining order outside the ring. Outburst throwing people into barriers? You gotta keep them together. Matsuri launching herself off ring posts? You better make sure she doesn't crash into an audience member. It's pretty damn simple. Just remember your place and don't step out of line. Tell me you understand. Suplex anyone that gets close to me? Oh no, he mad. He big mad. <laughs> the major looks at you blankly. Very funny. I he mean, was funny. Should we ditch Sir Average Mystery Pup and start calling you the comedian? Maybe. Maybe we should. One last thing. We can't have you distracting folks with your lips on show. The major produces a black tracksuit. A pair of white stripes run along the sides of the pants. An adorable kitten embroidered on the chest of the jacket. Here's your official little kitten ring gear. Awesome, thank you. I oh, won't annoy him again. Don't out. He'll probably suplex me. Uh, that's the spirit. Okay, rookie, good luck. I don't need to tell you what a big deal Cuddle Mania is. Don't hook this up. Your blood runs cold as the gravity of the moment sinks in. If all goes well, you can look forward to a good year of work in the ringside. If you survive that, maybe someday you'll graduate to throwing rookies around yourself. The major heads out, leaving you with your thoughts. I'm going to headline Cuddle Mania. I'm going to win the Cuddle Rumble, and I'm going to point to that sign. And I'm going to go to Cuddle Mania, and I'm going to win it all. I'm going to win the belt. Oh! You take a seat and start lacing up your boots, your whole body buzzing with anticipation. Cuddle Mania, the biggest night on the wrestling calendar. This is so cool. You can feel your heart swelling with pride. You've made it. You try to avoid eye contact with any of the half-dressed wrestlers oiling up their meaty bodies. But despite your best efforts, you can't help but lock eyes with a certain dream boat. <sighs> really hoping it would be Steve. You walk straight into Radical Ray. The Radster looks down on you casually. Who is this Radical Rebel? Cool dude. Again, just absolute bop. You feel your heart race seeing yourself reflected in Ray's shades. Oh my blob, it's Radical, it's Radical Ray. Oops, my bad. Sorry, you do. No, because that's the major. It's just the major. It sounds like... <laughs> J-Rock. <laughs> it's their average mystery pup, not new dude. Is that, I don't know, I just... There was that good. Cool. Nice to meet you, Sir Average Mi Sir Average Mystery Pop. I'm Rad Radical Ray. Cool. Meeting you too. I don't care what Manny said. No one cares what Manny said. Well, I've got a date with a half pipe. You seem like a cool cat. We should kick it sometime. Later, Sir Average Mystery Puppinator. Oh, he's calling me Puppinator as well. Everyone's got a nickname. You barely caught your breath from this latest brush with greatness before a furious scream booms through the locker room. Hmm. What is this? 
Secret Secretary's pink power suit strains as every inch of their muscular body swells with rage. The lockers around you rattle as a world-shattering scream blasts out of Secret's featureless face. Prohibited! In a pink blur, the Secretary's huge body flies in your direction, swinging a stiff arm into your chest. The devastating lariat lifts you clean off your feet and sends you crashing down onto the concrete floor. Secret sinks a large salmon boot into the center of your chest, pinning you to the ground. Big mistake, little kitten. You know you're not supposed to be fraternizing with your superiors. Manny will not be pleased when he hears about this. They raise their foot from your chest and clop away as you gasp for air. Oh, by the way, you're supposed to be ringside. Show's about to kick off. You get to your feet, gasping for breath as you dust yourself off. But as you limp towards the exit, a warm, tanned hand rests on your shoulder. Oh, hey, Buster. His signature broad smile hits you like a ton of bricks. We're up, babe. Hi. Even under the unflattering fluorescent lights of the locker room, radical Ray's smug face is a vision of beauty. Gazing at that perfect face has you blushing. But nothing can prepare you for the words that come out of his thin mouth next. Wanna roll with me tonight? Like, for my match? What the? The unexpected request leaves you scrambling for the right words. You want me as your valet? Ray throws you a broad smile. Having a babe like you by my side would make me look pretty cool. Yep. Yes, yes, 9,000 times yes. Radical Ray's broad smile burns a hole through your heart. Totally righteous. You know you shouldn't be doing this. You know this might lead to another smackdown from Secret Secretary. Or even worse, from Manny. But you can't turn Radical Ray down. You can't. You just can't. Taking you by the hand, they lead you out of the locker room. Your heart rate quickens with each step you take through the darkness of the passage connecting the locker room to the arena. Overhead, you hear the rumble of a golden-voiced gorilla ring out over the arena. Welcome, fight fans! This is the cuddle dome, home of the most explosive show in sports entertainment, wrestling with emotion! I am your host, the most handsome man in television. Sure. Blobby the Brains. And I'm Gorilla Baboon. You're tuned into one of the hottest nights of the wrestling calendar. This is Puddle Mania. To kick things off, here's the one and only Muck. MC Manny McMahon. Mutants and Lady Man. Welcome to the hottest show in town. Wrestling with Emotion. Prepare to witness the most unpredictable fight of your life. Is it Steve? Manny's muffled voice calls you towards the arena. Radical Ray's warm, large palm wraps around your hand, leading the way through the darkness. The rumble of the crowd grows louder and louder as you head towards the light. Once you step into the arena, it feels like your heart stops. Like everything is frozen in this one perfect moment. The Cuddle Dome is radiant, glowing beneath a wash of hot pink light. Dabbling blue laser beams crisscross over the ring. Crisscross over the ring. As your companion's energizing theme song soars through the air, the crowd chants his name. Throwing you a broad, 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 broad smile. They give your hand a tug, snapping you back into motion. Cyan lasers dance above you. The crowd sounds like stormy ocean waves crashing on the shore. Bolts of electricity run from the bodacious badass's hand up your arm to the top of your head. You feel like you're floating. Slay the runway. Slay the runway, you run your... <laughs> Activate babe mode and stretch towards the ring. Radical Ray mirroring the intensity of your seductive entrance sashays down the runway, sending the crowd into a frenzy. Radical, Radical Ray is here. And it looks like he brought a hot date along. Bam! That rookie looks hot like pizza supper. Smart move by Radical Ray. Nothing can inspire someone quite like a beautiful face cheering them on. Introducing our first fighter. It's Ray O'Clock. 
hailing from Manus Beach at an age of eternal, weighing the maximum allowed. Radical Ray settles into his corner of the ring and offers you a confident thumbs up. I, I want action. I want to make some noise, man. You casually perch on the ringside railing and start hollering loudly. Buck some bugs. For a little kitten, that new kid sure makes a lot of noise. And introducing his opponent. The lights dim and an expectant hush falls over the arena. Here we go, folks. It's just such a jam. King Pretty Guy's majestic theme song fills the air. Maybe it'll be like from enemies to lovers kind of thing, you know? The crowd erupts. Sounds like we've got a lot of peons in the house tonight. Their royal gyna steps into the arena as their clingy peons scream. I don't know if I've ever seen so many sacks out in the stands. With this kind of support, King Pretty Guy is sure to crush Radical Ray. Shut your lie hole, Blobby. <laughs> Manny's announcing the posh power babe. Put your paws together for one of our biggest superstars. The king is here. Hailing from Castle Strong at an age of ripe, weighing more than enough. King Pretty Guy! Clear the way, the king is here. KPG prances down to the ring, winking and blowing kisses that send loyal fans fainting. KPG applies a fresh coat of oil to their chest. Blinded by their glistening skin and bulging muscles, you're overcome by fear and desire. You contemplate how to respond. Time to send this imperialist a message. Let's do the elegance, because we did attitude. You roll your eyes at the approaching king, pretty guy. Whatever. That pup is shady. Your disrespectful sassing sends pretty guy into a blind rage. Furious superstar launches their slick body into the ring and snatches the mic out of Manny's hand. The sparkling eyes grow wide as they start ripping into you and Radical Ray. My servant has arrived, just in time. Ah, the Fool Patrol is here. King Pretty Guy's peons laugh and jeer as the monarch's muscles start climbing a ringside post. They look down at you with bloodlust in their sparkling eyes. It's time to bow down! KPG pouts for the camera. Uh-oh. One soaring slayer coming right up. Rest in peace, M-A-M-B. They launch their moisturized body into the air, hit you with a devastating soaring slayer. Their slip frame smashes into you, knocking you clean off your feet and sending you crashing into a heap of pure agony. Oh, it was a knockout. It was a knockout. I sassed him too much. I sassed him too hard. The assault leaves you flat on your back, looking up at the light of the cuddle dome. Your ears ringing, you suddenly very much regret your life choices. You're ready to throw in the towel and disappear into a black hole of unconsciousness. You're about to fall into the void, but a drooling voice brings you back as you're hoisted back onto your feet. This would be a most unrighteous time for a power nap. You aren't just going to take that kind of abuse, are you? What are you going to do? You draw a breath and weigh up your options. Okay. I think that's quite enough for today. If you want more, get your grabbers on the full Wrestling With Emotions new kid on the block so you can pump up that meat and take your wrestler from a ringside rookie to the center of your very own unique tale of bulging biceps, breaking rules, and melting hearts. The friend, seduce, or enrage one of seven superstar dreamboats. Decide who becomes your golden lover or red hot rival. Grapple, cuddle, and smash your way through a chaotic adventure of choice-driven gameplay. 
carve your own path towards one of 16 emotionally explosive endings. Thanks heaps for checking out this demo for Wrestling With Emotions 2. We hope you had an absolute blast with it. If you did, powerbomb that wishlist button or share it with someone round. Or send the screenshots of your wrestler and their cute nails. Thanks again. Stay awesome. Bye. I really enjoyed that. Really fantastic. And when it comes out, I don't think they've actually given a release date for it yet. Uh, but when it comes out, we've got to go back just so we can meet Irresistible Steve. Didn't even get to see the man. He's my favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had a fantastic time. I hope you did too. Don't forget to wish list if it's something that seems up your alley. And that's it.